Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI What You Can Do Through the CLI. I am Vangelis and today you are watching Web API Benchmarking Rust Warp vs Rust Arctic Web. So this video uh, came up because I wanted to quickly test something in Warp and uh, while testing uh, I just uh, figure out why not uh, comparing these two tools in Rust with our benchmarking videos. And uh, yeah, this is what I did in, uh, let me show you quickly the code for the, the Warp API. It's in essence the same, here we have our main function. Uh, we build our runtime and uh, in essence all we do is define our route and then we re reply with a JSON and we return our users. So it's exactly the same uh, functionality and the model is the same, the user is the same. Uh, the only difference is here but uh, the data is aligned, I have spaces here. So in essence it's the same exact, uh, exact uh, code. So let's start benchmarking and see what we will see. Of course I benchmarked already and I found something that was quite interesting and I will show you. Let's start with um, the warp. We will hit it with the uh, Apache Bench and these stats and these uh, configurations. So let's start and let me bring the system monitor here. So this is our um, our CPU usage. Let's check here. Uh, API warp. Here we are. Um, CPU usage thirty six and uh, memory usage about twenty two megabytes, as you can see. So thirty five twenty two. Let's remember thirty five CPU twenty two megabytes of memory. We are done. Let's go here and let's hit this API. Um, yeah, let's start it. Let me bring up the monitor. Uh, so Actix Web 3512, as you can see. With the uh, warp, we had uh, 3522 megabytes. So, Actix Web is uh, using less memory in this benchmark, as you can see, half of the memory of warp, which is interesting. We are done, let's compare. Um, let's go a little bit up here. Uh, so 38 seconds for warp, 37 for Arctic web. Uh, request per second 13,000, 13,000.1. Time per request 78 uh, milliseconds, 77. Transfer rate 136, 137. In the millions, we are in the millions for both of them. So as you can see, they are very comparable. 76, 86, uh, 77, 89, and 13, 32, 11, 70. So it seems that uh, <coughs> Actix Web is a little uh, faster, uh, slightly faster, but they are very comparable indeed. And the, a big difference that we saw so far is that uh, Warp needed uh, twice the memory for the Apache benchmark compared to the Actix web. Let me show you the APIs in the browser too. This is the Warp API and this is the Actix web API. So let's proceed to the WRK benchmark. So let's start with uh, the Warp. Uh, we will use uh, six threads, 1000 connections, and we will bench it for one minute. 
So let's start and let's bring the monitor. So here, as you can see, we are utilizing more the CPU. We are about 50% uh, and the memory usage is the same as you can see approximately. We had 22 megabytes, 23, and now we are 25, 26 megabytes, which is uh, very impressive because this is the, the stat uh, that I want you to remember before we proceed to benching Actix Web. So CPU, 50% memory, 25, let's say. Let me put it down. You don't see it here, but let me write it down, 50 and 25, I will say. So we were done. So let's proceed with Actix Web. So I will come here and we will say again, six threads, the same, 1000 connections and 60 seconds. So let's start benching this and let's come here. And this is the very exciting thing that I discovered. Uh, as you can see, the CPU is the same, but the memory usage is five times more for Actix Web. Approximately five times more. So we have 50 and 122. 50% 50 and 122 megabytes. For uh, warp, as I said, we had 50 and 25 for this uh, benchmark. Fifty and one twenty two. So the memory is stable. Yeah. Okay. Let's compare. Uh, latency fifty four, fifty four. Max latency three hundred and ten, one twenty six. Requests per second three thousand zero one. Uh, three point zero one k request per second three point thirty two k. Max 4.65k, 3.46k. Total requests, we are in the million, 1 million, 188, and 1,077,000. Request per second, 19,700, 17,900. Transfer 1.97, 1.78. So this is the very interesting part, as you can see. Um, consistently in my benchmarks, Warp was faster in the w, WRK benchmark. For some benchmarks, it was faster for the Apache Bench 2, but uh, for the WRK, it is always uh, better. I didn't have a single benchmark where Actix Web was uh, faster and more efficient in the WRK benchmark where we load uh, very much the API because we are uh, uh, WRK creates a lot of uh, parallel load to towards our API and the really impressive thing is that both Warp seems to be faster and more efficient. One point, this is one point. And second, as we saw, Warp is uh, using five times less memory than Actix Web, which is mind blowing to my mind. As you can remember, just give me a minute. These were the uh, metrics, if you remember. For the WRK, WRK bench. So this is warp. We had 50% uh, CPU usage and 25 megabytes 
of RAM. And for Arctic Web, we had 50% CPU usage and 122 megabytes of RAM. So uh, this is mind blowing to me. I cannot understand how Warp manages to keep the memory usage so low. It's it's impressive to me. Uh, and to tell you the truth, it seems according to my benchmarks that the warp may be overall a better choice if you want more efficiency. I'm not dissing Actix Web, of course. Actix Web is superb. And uh, to tell you the truth, I prefer the ergonomics. Personally, I prefer the ergonomics of Actix Web. But it seems that Warp is a very, very worthy opponent uh, regarding the Rust frameworks. So, yeah, this is the information that I wanted to share. I was completely blown away by the memory usage of Warp. So kudos to Simon Starr, the developer, and to everybody who is involved in Warp. So, yeah, this is the information. I hope that you find it useful and uh, that you like the video. So thank you very much and have a great day.